Hashima. I want to go over a couple of really important ingredients that we're going to be incorporating into the diet on a regular basis with the three-stage energy ascension diet. And so I'm going to go through a whole bunch of stuff that we went and got at the grocery store and really share with you the importance of, of the ingredients that you're choosing so you can incorporate some superfoods into your life and start to really feel a new energy vibration in your body. So a couple of things I have here. I'll go through just, uh, just one by one. So, aloe vera juice. I chose this one specifically because it has a flavor and it's really delicious. But aloe in general is so important to ingest, especially if you eat a lot of spicy food or if you have any IBS or any kind of digestive issues, this will actually go in and just like it does on your skin, if you get a sunburn, it does that on the inside and so it really heals your digestive tract. So I like to incorporate this into my snack that I'm going to prepare for you right now. And uh, I'm going to incorporate a couple other really yummy things. So we're going to put some goji berries. Goji berries, and I get these at Whole Foods, there's a bunch of different varieties you can get though. And uh, they're actually referred to as being one of the most powerful nutrient dense foods on the planet. Really, really high in fiber and protein plus a ton of other nutrients. So this alone, incorporated into your diet, can change your life forever. We're gonna put this into our superfood snack today. And another thing we're gonna incorporate is powdered cacao with maca. So this is something that most people don't really know about, but chocolate is actually a superfood. And you may have seen the a little bit of the hype about it, saying you know chocolate's got more antioxidants than wine, and this is true. But it has to be the right kind of chocolate. It has to be dark chocolate and raw. Cacao is the name of it. So cacao is the actual the the bean or the seed that it comes from, and uh, it's harvested in the uh, the rainforest. So this is coming from there, and uh, so this is from the Amazon. And this is something you can incorporate into your diet. It has fiber and protein, and it's a superfood. Excellent, and it tastes delicious. For anybody who really, really loves chocolate, um, but is looking to start a healthier program, definitely think about that. Now, I want to talk about protein supplements, because for me, I've been the type of person who really lives off of protein shakes or, or smoothies for a long time. You can replace a whole meal with a protein shake or a smoothie, but you want to make sure that it's the right one. So I used to do a lot of whey protein, cassian, soy, but all of the studies suggest that those three types of protein are really not that good for you. And really, a lot of studies are saying now, more and more, that hemp is one of the best protein sources on the planet. Really high in fiber and protein and it has a lot of like really powerful omega fatty acids. So specifically, this is just a, one that I like to recommend because you get it at Whole Foods, it's Manitoba Harvest chocolate, and it tastes really good. And on top of that, it has eight grams of fiber per serving, 10 grams of protein, 14 carbs. So it's very low sugar, very high protein, and a lot of fiber, plus delicious. You can't go wrong. I put that in everything. Okay, so then we're gonna go to really important here, probiotic digestive enzymes. This one is one that I really like because if you're like me, you like things that taste good. And this is like a juicy juice. It's a flavor, tastes like uh, strawberry and rose hips. And, but they have different flavors. Then there's also um, a blueberry one. And basically, it's a little juicy juice box. And it has 20 billion probiotic enzymes. And let me just explain what that is. When you're digesting food, inside of you are these acids and enzymes that help to break down the food so that it can, all the nutrients can be absorbed into the body and then all the waste, the excess, can exit the body. But when you don't have the right uh, enzymes, then it doesn't break down the same and this leads to digestive issues, to say the least. <laughs> So, we want to get things moving quickly through, and uh, this is one way to really help with that. And so, if, you, if, that, if you're the type of person that has any issues with digestion, or even if you're not, 
really, really powerful way to boost your immune system is to include probiotic enzymes. And I recommend these ones because they're really delicious. And it's easy to just swig one of these down. And I actually am going to mix it into our, our snack today. Another great ingredient that I'm going to introduce is bee pollen. And bee pollen is known uh, pretty much generally to be a, a superfood. And what it is, is it's the, the pollen from the flowers when the bees go in, they grab the pollen, and then they convert all of that into the honey. Well, this is the byproduct, the pollen aspect of it. So it's pre-digested, which sounds kind of funny. The bees digested it already. But it's really powerful source of protein and a lot of different nutrients. And what they say is, if you uh, ingest the local bee pollen to your area, you can actually reduce your allergies for that area because the bees are going and gathering all of the, the pollen from the local flowers. And so because you're consuming small doses of these um, pollen seg segments, you're going to stop being allergic to the different kinds of flowers. So you'll start to see your allergies reduce. That's really cool. Okay, and then we'll talk about agave. Agave nectar is my new favorite honey replacement. Honey is really powerful too, but I really like agave because it has such a low glycemic contribution to your blood sugar, uh, so even vegans and diabetics can consume it with no problem. Agave is from a cactus, and it tastes so sweet and delicious. You can put it in your tea, or you can put it in your snacks like we're going to do, or you can use it as a replacement for any kinds of sugar that you might have been needing in a recipe. Now, we're going to talk about chia. Chia is the new flaxseed of the, the era. So chia, it's a, it's a little seed, and it's tremendous in its uh, providing of fiber and protein, as well as really good fats. So this is the kind of thing that will really get things moving for you as well. No need for metamucil, I'm telling you. Chia is a metamucil of the now. Register for the 30-day yoga challenge to get started with the three-stage diet plan today.